dirty, horrible, nasty, brush. Not that lovely, master. Absolutely fine. Uh, everyone's here, and, and now we learn us to princess, yes. Welcome, Reaper Mini fans, to my next video, and today we are painting Gormore, the Great Worm. This is from the Bones uh, range of miniatures by Reaper Miniatures. I have already stuck this onto a 120mm base boss base. And the first thing I'm going to do is I am going to fill in the gaps. There's quite a few gaps along the bottom around the gum line so I'm using my plastic putty from Vileco and I'll fill in all the gaps once I've filled in all the gaps I will put some gravel around the base and I will come back and we shall move on from there ah, so now I've got my gravel uh, all glued to my base and all the gaps are filled so we are ready to do our primer coat. Now what I'm going to use for my primer coat is Twilight Purple by MSP Paints. It's a nice dark purple and this will be painted all over the worm. So I will paint the primer coat on. Uh, we want to keep the primer coat dark as possible because you always want your darkest coat on first and then you highlight with lighter colours. So this will be first Twilight Purple then we will use a purple ink wash and then it will be dry brushing and highlights for the skin we'll be painting the whole miniature first with the purple even over the teeth um, and then we'll be doing all the dry brushing we'll be finishing the skin and then we move on to the teeth and it will be a lot easier to paint and you won't get any flicks all over your teeth so it works out the best way to paint this miniature. Now I've done the whole worm in my twilight purple I am going to use Army Painter Purple Tone which is an ink wash and I am going to cover the whole miniature in the ink wash and I'll come back once the ink wash is on and dried and then we can go into the next stage and I can show you how we do the details and highlighting on the great worm. The ink wash is now dried and it's gone into all the recesses of the miniature and it's giving it lovely shading. So the next part now is we'll dry brush the miniature using runic purple and I got some pure white from MSP Paints. I will be doing the dry brushing directly and mixing and matching with the colours going from the lighter purple adding a little white just to bring out extra highlights with the brush. And we'll go through that together now. So I'm going straight into the purple. Bum, bum, bum. Taking off the excess paint on my tissue and going straight on to the miniature. I'm going up the scales like I showed you with the dragons that I do. Just going over the whole miniature because what we're going to do is the the teeth and the spines will do after and this is why we can be fast and quick with this part of the painting because it doesn't matter if we make a mess and go over the parts of the miniature that we don't want to go over because we're going to be painting them later so i'm just quickly going over bringing up all the highlights with the purple very simple and it's super fast this is a great mini to paint and I would recommend it for a beginner to learn their dry brushing and their coverage skills on painting Reaper miniatures. Okay, let's go over the tops here. super easy and it looks fantastic this is going to be a great mini when it's finished because we are dry brushing the paint on 
it dries almost instantly. Um, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start mixing my paints and getting some really nice colours going. So I'm going on to the purple, dabbing in a little bit of white, mixing it on the palette there. A bit more purple. There we go. Perfect. So we're just getting a bit more highlights on the scales. So what we're doing now is going back over the scales with the worm but with a little bit lighter colour. Just a little bit lighter, not a lot. Just going over all the highlights. And remember, we're going to be painting the teeth and all the extras later. And this is why we do this now, because it's very important uh, when you paint a mini to do it in the right steps. And the right steps is to get the whole miniature painted, get your dry brushing done, and then you can go and do the fine details on the teeth and the rest of the miniature because you're not going to make a mess. There's always a method to the madness with miniature painting. So we're going back in there, uh, adding some white, getting the same consistency on your brush, taking the excess off and again we're going back onto the scales. And it's given a beautiful effect. Now for the last highlight for the scales, I am going to add a little bit more white and I will call that one done. So what we're going to do, we're going directly into the white and we're mixing it in with this tiny bit of purple, just a tiny bit of purple there, taking off the excess and then we're just going over the tips again, just right on the tips, just delicately very lightly, there we go, just a little bit of highlight on each, on the gums, there we go, Oop. around here, Lovely. Um, that's to me. That's that's enough. There we are. Got some lovely colours going on there. Now all we do is we paint in the teeth and the spines. They'll all be painted with skeleton bone. Um, and what I'll do is I'll come back once I've painted those teeth, and I'll show you how I highlight the teeth to make them look. Yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm going to show you a super easy way to make teeth uh, look old and worn. You can use this for dragons, you can use this for anything with claws, teeth, big teeth. And what we're going to do, Agvix Earth Shade from Games Workshop. We have some cotton buds, like so. It's super simple, and all you need to do is put on your Agvix Earth Shade. I'm using a wash brush by Games Workshop and we're covering the whole covering the whole tough teeth with the Agrax Earth Shade. What you're trying to do is you push the earth shade into the recesses of the gums and then what we do is we take the cotton bud and we take off the excess paint and it works just the same as doing dry brushing or highlighting 
and I do this on the teeth because it gives a nice clean look to the end of the teeth where you want it to be gnawing at things but leaves the recesses like it's got bad plaque and dirt and grubs in the teeth and as you can see you're getting a dirty effect around the back and it's lighter at the front and once this is dry all we do is we highlight the very tips with some bleached bone and I'll show you again on these ones you might be able to see it better on the side we're going over the side just cover your tooth there we'll do these ones at the same time So you put on your Agric Surf Shade and what you're doing is you're taking the Earth Shade off again with your Cotton Bud just on the tips so it, it actually gives a nice natural shading effect by just using the Cotton Bud and taking away some of the ink wash and it gives an old look to the teeth. And that's all you do for the teeth. So I am going to do that for the rest of the teeth and the <laughs> bone teeth. There's teeth everywhere. <laughs> um, and once that's done, I am going to paint the base grey. I will give the base a black ink wash. I will then dry brush the base. And I will come back and show you the finished Gormor. The base coat was given a grey primer and then I gave it a black ink wash. After the black ink wash I then dry brushed with uh, cream and followed by a slight dry brush of a lighter green pale just to give a little bit of moss effects to the rocks. Um, I then touched up a few rocks with some Agra Sur shade just to add a little more variation into the rocks and add a bit more character. So here's the finished worm, Gormor, great worm. I'll give you a little 360. Very happy how this turned out. Absolutely a beautiful miniature. As you can see, it was a very simple paint. Um, really beautiful miniature. Absolutely gorgeous. This will look fantastic in any dungeon or tabletop game. It's a nice simple paint, very effective and just looks great. Next week's miniature will be Gorf the Dragon. Um, they did this in a metal version, if I'm not mistaken. Um, what's going to be special about next week's uh, show is I will be making a base to fit this dragon as the stance is not good. Um, uh, you've, you've probably all had the same problem with your dragons. It doesn't stand on its own because of the way the uh, miniature has been sculpted. So what I'll be doing is making an air drying clay rock base for the miniature to stand on and it will be awesome. So I hope you tune in next, uh, next Wednesday and see this miniature in all its glory. Remember, if you want to see the miniatures uh, and my videos a week early, you can become my patron for as little as $1 a month and that puts the paint in my paint pot. Um, so, all I can say is, until next time.
Lawrence. Sleep well. Dream of evil. Paintbrushes. Ha <laughs> ha.